Be glad and rejoice, for your reward is very great in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Saint Bede, the Venerable, um, tells us, we read, as we read in today's um, Office of Martins, he said, Today, today, we keep the, the great, um, with a great cry, right? A joyful feast of the memory of God's holy children. He calls the saints God's holy children. And as God's holy children, their presence is a gladness to heaven. Okay? Remember that um, our Lord said they join heaven for one sinner doing penance. Because it would be an addition to to heaven, all right. Um, so these children, these God's children, their prayers are a blessing to earth. You see, the the, the sense they gain so much graces for us if we will ask them to pray for us. Their victories, their victories are the crown of the holy of holy church, all right. And their testifying is more glorious. In honor, as the agony is the more um, the agony in which it was given, get most tenor. This is in reference to the um, martyrs whose whose glory increased more in proportion to the suffering they endured for the name of Christ. You see, those the souls the souls that we celebrate today on the on the uh, given the new theology of, of, of modernism, we are not supposed to celebrate them because the faith they, they, they stood for and died for, oh no, the modernists these days speak as though they were fools, of course. St. Paul said people call us fools, but in the sense that they wasted their time for, for um, standing for the faith they stood for. Because now, the, in the name of Christ, imagine, in the name of saying they are Catholics, they promote that, no, you don't need to, to give your life for Christ again. Everybody, every religion just as good as the other. You just have to be a good Muslim, be a good and all of that. No need to try to convince the other. Of course, not by force, but the, the very idea of trying to, to, to convince somebody is contrary to their theology. And um, Based on this, of course, I don't know how they could in conscience celebrate the Feast of All Saints. But of course, being the hypocrites they are, they celebrate it, all right? In order to confuse gullible Catholics that they are still practicing the Catholic religion. But well, the, 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 the victories of the, of, the, of, the, of the saints we celebrate today is the crown of the church because um, through them, through, uh, having learned from the church, the church, right, uh, how to persevere in, in, in trials, they won the, the crown of glory. Some of them, crown of martyrdom, and others being simply um, confessors. Okay? So, um, our law, our, our, our mother, holy mother, the Catholic Church, he says, has learned in, in, in Christ Jesus, her head, not to fear shame or what, cross nor death but but to, to and had to work stronger right and by enduring all of this and then the the sense taught by the church also endured all of this and now they have won great crowns and we celebrate them today that is why um we should glory in being children of the sense because we too are on the way learning, learning from our, our Holy Mother, the Church, the Catholic Church, not to fear shame, right? Not to fear shame, not to fear any cross or death, even if it means that we must die for our faith, we should be ready for that. Now, the saint, we celebrate all the saints. What is a saint? All right, have you asked yourself that question before? Well, a saint is made up of two elements, the divine and human element. The divine element is what? Grace, divine grace merited by the blood of Christ, which becomes part of this fallen 
and corrupt human being, human nature, and builds it up once more in, in that blood, all right? And then it redeems it to such, with such efficacy to make it once a new creature, all right? A child of God and a, an heir of the kingdom of heaven, a co-heir with Christ. Might, that is what grace does to, 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 to us. And each of us, we receive this grace in baptism, all right? We're constituted the divine element making us, that should make us, each of us saints have been given us in our baptism. And now, the human element that make up the saint is what? A free and generous cooperation of man with grace, all right? The, without this cooperation, <laughs> then the divine element will not achieve will not um it will be it will not be it, of course sufficiently given but it will not attain its end because there's this lack of human cooperation so saint ephraim calls the saint the harp of the holy spirit the harp is what a musical instrument just like the music, that harp is what at the disposal of the musician, right, to make a good music. That is how the saint is in the hand of the Holy Spirit. What an imagery. So the saint is the harp of the Holy Spirit, okay? And so um, with his life and faith of faith and, and prayer, what does he do? He awakes his brethren. He awakens his brethren to sing God's praise. All right. So your life today as one who is striving to be a saint should be a, a, a reminder to your brethren to sing the praise of God. All right. And then with deep serenity and, and deep uh, rooted peace of heart, the saint lets those who have forgotten, who have gotten astray or who have forgotten or those who are wallowing in dissipation, to know and feel how sweet is God's spirit. You see, if you were to meet a saint, all right, you see how disinterested the, the saint is in the things of the world and how it's all consumed by the things of God. Nothing bothers uh, the saint because he sees God in all things and he sees all things in the light of God. It is The, the saint is not worried by the achievement of the worldly minded people is not disturbed by any of that because he sees it all as what vanity upon vanity which is all vanity and so the saint has um in, in that is the function of the saint on earth is what is to um spur on his fellow men to the praise and worship and service of god and then in heaven the saint are also continually singing God's praise eternally, holy, holy, holy Lord, the angelic um, um, uh, praise, and then we read today, um, singing, worthy is the lamb that was slain to, give, to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and glory and blessing. That is the function of the saints in heaven, singing God's praise and rejoicing in God, his Savior for all eternity, because he has collaborated with the grace of God and has triumphed mightily, of course, in the blood of Christ, okay? So we, we still in this world, we are children of the saints if we profess the faith of the saints, right? If we do not profess the integral faith of the saints, we cannot claim to be the children of the saints. And if we do proclaim, profess the integral faith of the saints, and we are children of the saints, then we must strive to become saints also. How? By, of course, we know that the divine element has been given to us at our baptism. And if we were to lose it, we regain it again by a worthy confession, sacrament of penance. But the human element we must provide that free and generous cooperation with grace, all right? And that will what will make us saints. So as we, um, as we commemorate the Feast of All the Saints today, we ask them for their prayer, right? That they may give us, obtain for us the strength we need to collaborate with the grace that has been given us 
so that we too may become saints and join their heavenly choir in singing God's praises for all eternity. God bless you. In my Father, and the Son of the Holy Ghost. Amen.